Well, boys and girls, I believe that honesty is the best policy. And I personally expect people to be open, honest, raw, real and vulnerable, especially when it comes to me. But sadly, I've had people who aren't like that and they think that they can just tell me half-truths, lie to me and they think that I can't see it. They think that I can't see right through it. I will not tolerate people who try to manipulate me. I can see it. I can see it from a flippant mile away and I'm on the verge of literally disappearing for a while, you know, because I'm thinking, what's the point? I have people approaching me and they're all fucking oh, lying to themselves, pretending to be someone they're not, and it's just so aggravating. You know, I know it's hard for some people, you know, to be open, raw, honest, real, with their feelings, with their thoughts, especially when it comes to me. I don't know what it is. Some people have just got the fear factor going on here. And it's so annoying. But hey, what can you do? You know? Because I've just um, finished with this particular reading for us Pisces today. And yeah, it was very interesting. And, you know, she practically said in a nutshell, there are multiple people around you that are exactly what I'm stating, you know, that aren't being their true authentic selves and afraid um, to say the truth, no matter what it is, good or bad, you know, I deserve to know the full truth um, of how people are feeling, thinking and whatever. But yeah, I don't know, they just lie and try to manipulate and try to control things. Um and it's very, very off-putting, let me tell you that, very aggravating. You know, if people are going to be like that, I prefer them not to approach me at all. You know, just stick to yourselves. Don't dare to approach me. If you're not going to be truly open and honest with what's going on deep within, I don't want to know. You know, that's just my attitude, you know. You know, I'm sick and tired of people spying on me as well and... I'm getting annoyed with that. It's like, why? Why spy on me for, you know? <sighs> you know, people from my fucking past all the time are doing it. You know, they don't do it every day of the week, but they do it. Whenever they've got the spare time, whenever they're alone and they're not with their significant other or whatever, <sighs> it's fucking annoying, you know? And look... <sighs> Some of these people know I don't want anything to do with them anymore. That I want them to move on and to be happy. But no, they're still wanting to watch my every move. I just don't get it. I don't get it. You know, if these people are fucking itching to communicate with me or whatever, just fucking do it. Come to me as who you truly are. Stop this bloody bullshit of setting up fake accounts. You know, to try and get my attention. It is fucking annoying. Enough is enough. You know, like I'm on the verge now. I'm on the verge of disappearing for a long time. And Chica, oh, what do you want, you silly cat? Oh, they want your bum rubbed. <laughs> Come on, honey. Come on. Come on. Weird cat. Come on. Oi, look, there, go on, <laughs> weird cat, she wants my attention, well at least she comes to me, that's who she is, you see what I mean, she comes to me as who she is, she doesn't have to pretend or hide behind someone else, <laughs> I mean, she's got more balls than most of these people out here on social media, you know, whoever you are, male or female, from my past, who wants to communicate with me, do it right. Come to me correctly, you know. And when you do, be reasonable. You know, but no. Yeah, they come back all right, acting like buffoons. Oh, well, what can you do with these people? Oh, that's why I'm thinking sometime very soon I'll just disappear for a while 
and uh, maybe if I'm not around doing stuff on social media, it might, you know, it will trigger them. They'll get pissed. They're thinking, oh, fuck, now I don't know what she's doing today, you know. It's so like, <laughs> well, <sighs> weird people. What to do with them? Like slapping them about a bit, torturing them. Yeah. Grab them all. Shove them in the dungeon somewhere. Tie them to a chair. Get a big hunk of meat. Slap them across the face with it a few times. Yeah. Then I'll watch it one of these days. I will do that to them. Nah, I'm only kidding. Nah, I can't be even bother doing that. I've got better things to do. Yes. And hopefully one day they'll have better things to do. Gosh, if they want to be fake all their lives and hide forever, you know, and not be true with their emotions and their feelings and their thoughts and they're too scared to be vulnerable because they consider it a weakness. It's not a weakness. You're not weak, okay? So get that fucking out of your head now before it's too late. <laughs>